Hey guys, Tyrop here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Belgorod. I'm today spawning on the left. We have Robolak playing as Soviets. We have Terra, Guard Rifle Combined Arms, and NKVD going for a tier 2 start here along with the conscript. Team up with him. Here comes the Blob, also as Soviets, who has counterattack, defensive, and mechanized support. From the right, we have Zarko as I'll see, who has Jaeger Infantry, Jaeger Armor, and German Mechanized. And finally, Ed 80 Hertz, also as I'll see, immediately going for Elite Troops. This is a random team on both sides. Uh, both the Allies are around rank 140, the Soviets, both Axis are around rank 200. So a uh, triple pyo, one machine gun build here for Ed to start things off. Looks like going for the triple pyos before the machine gun. They do build quite a bit faster. Where's the rest of the squad? Are they con <laughs> Where's the rest of their conscript squad? And now into a second machine gun as well. Interesting. You have stormtroopers in this commander, so... So we're going to see some of those later on from Ed also, but fucking the usual build I go for, I just go for a second pyo then into double machine guns after that stage. You're going for an extra pioneer, which uh, I'm not a huge fan of, but against conscripts, probably be your best case scenario for pioneers. It's one of the only squads that they can really fight against in the early stages. On the allies. So far, though, with uh, pretty decent territory control. Empty coming into the center here for Ed. Got a relatively early mortar as well for Zarko. I was just stalling over here for as long as they can. Combat engineers able to crawl out from the machine gun's arc. It's pushing forwards. How did these get suppressed? Well, oh, must have been the Maxim coming in from the side there. Yeah, I was very confused. A little bit of a late retreat, and they go around the wrong side of the haystacks too. That could be a wipe. Do have the machine gun? Going to stop the combat engineers, but we still got this conscript squad over here. Conscript Uraring looking to get through the arc. Did a little bit slow retargeting, and they do manage to clear it. So he's going to have to get out of there. Going for a greedy maneuver though, trying to catch Rubber Luck. Sleep at the wheel, but not going to happen. Rubber Luck having gone for the early tech. Going to both a Maxim and a Mortar, so he'll be able to counter its machine guns pretty effectively. Generally the Maxim does do better in the head-to-head -head machine gun wars between these two. Now into a third conscript, so quite a lot of units to start out this game for rubber luck. We have more conscripts at Does not have any healing though because of this. Still no tier 2 tech up yet for here comes the blob. Going for a four conscript start, just the one combat engineer. 222 two, two and the build for it. Do you remember with these double pyro starts, you do save a touch of fuel, not having to go for your tier 1 tech structure. I should be able to get around the side, but it's staying in the arc for a very long time. It's got a pyro a little bit late on the retreat. Slamming down, MG repositioning for rubber luck. Pyro's on the move, but the conscripts don't seem to be doing t terribly much damage to them, honestly. It might be able to maintain this position until the 222 arrives. Here it comes now. No anti tank grenades for Rubberluck, so he's on the move. Big mortar shell, though. But yeah, that is a very, very fast 222. This has got off to a pretty strong start into his territory control. Didn't really start to lose it. 
to right around now, so we can lead to this very fast 2-2-2. Two -two -two. Our black doesn't really have an answer to this. Tank grenades have been ticked by Rubber Luck. This construct squad, though, very low in health, could easily drop down before they get a chance to get the AT grenade off. He's playing it safe, though. He's got the triple Pios for the repairs. Also, has a mid bunker up now. I'm coming up for Zarko, also with the 2 2 2 in the field. At a more normal timing. Construct's trying to hide behind this fence line. Coming in with the Ura, it backing away. Oh, you could see a bit of a stutter step. They were just about to line up that anti-tank grenade. It's backing away just in the nick of time there. And now we have some stormtroopers being brought in. Didn't call them in from a building. It's a building over here that maybe could have been quite good to bring them in from. Maybe over here as well. Don't think that was garrisoned by anything. Not a huge number of buildings on this map though. This might be the only two that you can actually deploy units from. Alright. Going for the G43s on those. Very strong units. And still quite early on in the match so it doesn't really have to worry about going for an anti-tank gun quite yet. Let's also have the uh, Pioneer Received Accuracy Bulletin. Don't see that too often, as well as a Faust Bulletin, which is not going to come into effect this game. And off in the north. Here comes the Blob, getting forced away, trying to make some moves in the center, but getting shut down by that machine gun. Maybe finally going to get some repairs going. Should probably have sweepers on one of these pie squads as well. A little bit low on munitions for that though. Things seem to be going pretty well for the Axis with the double to do twos on the field. Looks like Rubberluck going to go for a quad to try and answer this. Also locking into the commander NKVD. Here comes the blob going for defensive. Building is this. Interesting choice. To go for a second combat engineer at one stage as well. So it's a little bit unusual. Flamethrower on that also, so no sweepers. Talamine could be nasty for here comes the blob if he wants to go for a light vehicle. But yeah, second combat engineer is a little bit strange, you know. Generally you're going for Gdishka at this time and if you're going for this commander it's to do that second combat engineer. So really, like, here comes a blob, not making use of any of these early game options. Oh boy. Quad not quite upgraded. Telemine coming down now. Over here doesn't look like it's going to get spotted immediately. That could be nasty for the half track over there. Here comes a blob trying to make a move in the north, but we've got the machine gun covering that angle. Switching down into the center. Might be able to get a flank cooking, though it is repositioning right away. What is complete, but getting repaired up before it returns to service. And we've got the officer coming in, the commissar for rubber luck. A little bit late on the timings. You know, you can get that at two command points, I believe. So this is quite a late commissar overall. And Commissar, not a terribly strong unit to start things off in terms of combat performance. Basically like a five-man peeling squad, maybe even slightly worse. So coming in at this late time, it's not that good. Wow, that mortar shell could have detonated that teller quite easily there. The quad, getting some work done, clearing off the center. Double 2-2-2, two, 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 so could be... Uh, Let's do some damage. Molotov onto the fuel cache over there. Late retreat here from it. Could be a pie squad going down. Quad not switching the focus fire across to it though. It's a bit of a mistake. And uh, double 2 2 twos, traffic jam. 
Okay, connecting. Right back in the way, pops the speed boost, gets away in the nick of time. Can we see how that kind of suiciding in here? We've got a heavy mortar out now. From and here comes the blob. Damage, cash finally slowly getting bashed down by the mortar. Still 90 tank gun yet for rubber luck. Gotta be very careful with this conscript positioning, make sure he's got any saint grenade ready to support that quad. Just in case the 222's go hunting for him. And conscript's really struggling against those G43 stormtroopers. They're up to 9 kills already. Still getting repairs, not joining in on the fun yet. And the stormtroopers shredding these conscripts down the bottom. Might even be able to three on one them. Oh boy! Zis threads the needle through that little gap, and there goes Ed's 222. Oh, quad. Looks like it could be heading towards that telemine position. We've got a flare up spotting all the machine gun here. No, nope, I'm gonna come around the other side. That was a pretty na nasty one. Final grenade into the retreat doesn't quite work out. Is this still camped in the center? Zarko gonna have to be careful. Doesn't have a vet on that 2 to 2 yet, so it doesn't have the extra sight range. Quite getting very aggressive, but is never building a pack, so doesn't really have an answer to this, and especially now this 2 to 2 is dead. Can't really fend off the quad at all. And we have the Zis coming out now for rubber luck. This mine's covering this flank as well. Okay, Ed rushing out the flat panzer here. Yep, to hop out. Got the anti tank gun down here for Zarko, but it looks like he's currently occupied. Fighting in the north. Here it comes now, though, to the quad. The back's away, and the pack missing. Oh, MG gets decrewed there. Suppression didn't quite get both of those squads. Just able to get the decrew. Maybe the 222 can prevent the steal, though. It's quite far away. Really needs this machine gun firing this entire time to do enough damage. So, uh, steal on the MG42. Running to the north. Oh boy, I thought he was about to run to those air mines. And it looks like the machine gun's going to get away. A little bit sloppy there from the axis to allow that to happen. Oh my god, look at how close he is to that telemine. <laughs> uh, Ed losing his second machine gun now. Looks like that went down to a bit of quad mortar combo. We need to hit the field with the flak panzer. Coming up to the north, maybe hoping to prevent the machine gun steal, but did get away an engine damage on the flak panzer, so. Not a strong start for the Flak Panzer. Rebuild on the machine gun coming in for Ed. Zarko, meanwhile, gone for a second squad of Panzer Grenadiers. There's the battle phase tech up, but might be going straight for tier 4. Meanwhile, we've got an SU-76 for Here Comes the Blob. You don't see these too often. Tier 4 is down for Rubber Luck. It's the fuel for a T-34, if that's what he wants. And the shells flying in both directions at the moment. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Even in terms of VPs. Almost down by 60. 
Don't know what the army size is though, we can see it. Allies are ah, here's it. Oh, they lost to those double machine guns in the 222. It's fallen behind. Doubles this here as well, Eve driving. Got into the worst area of the map with this flak panzer. All the shots missing though, it's good news for him. Tree awareness on the 222. There goes the quad hanging around in front of the pack for a touch too long. This is camped in the center now as well. Triple Pyre is away from the flak panzer. He's got flamers upgraded on two of them, but it's probably a little bit too much strength from Rubberluck. The pioneers to be able to contest. He's got the flak panzer coming down here perhaps, but we've all got, it's got the Zis on the rotation. Maybe the flak panzer could come in from this angle, but from over here it would be very risky. Telemine's still there though, that SU-76 could maybe rotate through that, and that is a one-shot. We've also got a Tele down here. So that could be pretty nasty. Looks, looks like uh, some space open in the north. Good luck he heading up in that direction. Dodge on on the grenade. Barrage in the center. Black Panzer appeared up. Crushing the sandbags, but about to take engine damage. Should be able to survive here, but this early flak panzer just hasn't been working out for it at all. Continuously driving into anti-tank guns. And now we've got... We've got the T-34 coming. Do have a pack here. I don't know if he's heard this coming in the fog. He knows it's going to be here now. Firing some attack rounds at these stormtroopers that are capping in the smoke currently. That sets up at a bad angle for this though. Kill cash over here, by the way, for Ed. We are losing the sector. And now he's pushing out the Panzer IV. Back under some pressure from the officer, the Commissar, rather. And Allies making a pretty good pushback at this time. mb 42 is really helping them with their territory control. Oh, boy. Ooh, close call for that SU-76. Long sight range with the spotting scopes on the 222 now. Is reporting for duty. Yes, indeed, it was a straight tier 4 tick into the Brumbier. We have tier 4 up for here comes the Blob. Looks like their T 34 hit that Telemine down there. Backing out for some repairs. Now, seconds is this coming in for Rubber Luck. At this stage, he could consider just holding off on the manpower for a touch longer, going for the SU 85. But seconds, this is going to be the option. Oh, wow, that was an epic mortar shot. And you're still pretty healthy there, getting decrewed. Four models. I think it was. And the system with the push again, but again, getting blasted. Okay, we've got. Here, propaganda artillery coming down. He'd try and dodge away from that. And it's successful. And we're now coming into the center of the map. The Taking some big shots from the side. Those C 76 could maybe chase him for the kill. And the pack somewhat close by for Ed. Coming in from the north now for Zarko. C 76 just needs one more shot. Still has to penetrate, and he does! There goes the Brumbeer. And the SU-76 getting away. Zarko. Costly mistake. That anti-tank gun way out of position. Needed it in support of the Brumbeer. P Greens meanwhile though, getting some major work down out the back. MG-42 and this decruit. 
can uh, destroy this. Maybe some of that will be forgotten. Not bringing up the pack though to try and go for the kill on these decrease weapons. And, uh, doesn't need the machine gun himself. Pack coming into the center. Oh, where's he going with that? So overall, I think that's a mistake from Zarko. He had a good opportunity to come through and kill these decrew team weapons with that pack. Maybe even kill off SU-76, but a little bit sloppy with his pack positioning. Here comes the Panzer IV. Here goes the T-34. SU-76 coming down to the bottom to assist. We've got anti-tank overwatch activated by here comes the blob. He's smoking. Gonna get away here. Successful. Oh, did Rubberluck cancel this? It looks like it. Going for a late cancel on that, but after that was floating quite a lot of resources. Now rebuilding the T-34. Not too far off being able to build another after that though. Dodge the engine damage from the conscripts. I think they were in range. Yep, there we go. We have a new T-34 standing by. Panzer doing some pretty good damage. Combined with the Panzer IV. Faust? No. Yes. No P Green Shreks. T-34 could just hide behind this shop locker from the pack survive. There's, there's SU-76 barrage going for the pack. Oh, and the pack missing. Crucial damage on the T-34. And having to disengage. Two, two, two coming in. Maybe you're looking for some rear armor damage on the T-34. Not really advisable, but pretty funny to see. There goes the mortar. Is this just left here? That gets decrewed as well. A lot of resources for Rubble. Could now build that SU-85. Gets tanks back up to full strength. Has recruited his pack now as well. G42 over here decrewed. So now we're down to a mortar. Second squad of stormtroopers. This one equipped with the MP40s for it. MP40s better at those close range ambushes than the G43s. And especially as the match starts to wear on, a lot more light cover craters from those stormtroopers to sneak into close range. Can be very effective. but interrupted here. Pack not rotating yet for it. S35 coming in for here comes the blob. Oh, KV-8 for rubber luck. Okay, that was an unexpected one. We built on the Brumbia, meanwhile for Zarko. Maybe he's just going to charge in for that Faust. Still very tight on the VPs. Now the allies are ahead by around 20. Hands are coming in. Pack now is killing the decreases. Just coming in. The anti tank remains. Let's smoke out to safety. 
Ziggy Four coming in from the bot and doing a bit of damage. Got the Zist there in support. Stormtroopers coming in from the side though with those G43s. Pretty potent. Hands of Force softening up the conscripts. Let's see that T34 working on the Stormtroopers. Decrewed in the north now. Okay, now we've got the KV 8 out for rubber luck. Can. Oh, it's that Talamine. Looks like he'd finished that at some stage. Bad start. Often, like the best time for your KV 8 is when it first hits the field, your opponent hasn't really calibrated the team weapon positionings to adjust for it. Come in, maybe get the decrew on them and get the overwhelm going, but a telemine like that. Costly. There's a second squad of combat engineers coming out now with the sweepers. Cool flame left behind. Needs pack though, getting a couple of hits in here. We're going for the Maxim. And uh, here comes the Blob, really struggling in the north at the moment. Triple machine guns. Thing is a stone wall. He, not, he hasn't upgraded his conscripts as well with the seven man upgrades, so they're bleeding quite a lot of manpower. They're not trading particularly well with the Axis infantry. I know that this is a very strong ability, but. So, uh, conscript upgrades. Seems like the axe is starting to take the lead now. Kachusha though, and that could help things out. Oh, it's your 85 way out the back. Nothing to guard against this Bombier. And now we've got the ace hitting the field for it. That's a big power spike all of a sudden for the Axis. Especially Rubber Luck having gone for that KV-8 instead of an SU-85. KV-8, you know, can switch over to the 45mm gun. Does it right against medium tanks, but not against something as sturdy as the Tiger Ace. Your second anti-tank gun though, so should help things out a bit. Oh, it's nasty, it's so pumped up. It's that building. Could be a white. Not close call though. There we go, Ace coming in. 34 pokes his head around the corner, takes a pack shot. He's ready, fives in the center. So is the SU-76. We've got some uh, sweeping going on. Comes the Kachusha going for the machine gun, I think. Reasonable connection. Okay, its tanks just inching forwards. We have the SU 85 right there. There we go. 234 takes. Good chunk of damage, but Tigre is missing. Getting away for the moment. S35 not pushing in, switching around for the Brumbia. 90 tank grenade though, so no engine damage up there. Charging in, looking for the anti tank grenades. Well, they get it off on the ace. It's costly though. The squad nearly goes down. Meanwhile, I've got the KV-8 posturing down the bottom, but comes past the flag, revealing its position. We need plenty of time to react. I've got a bunker covering the north now as well. Really tough to crack up there, for here comes the blob. 
So we've got a bit of manpower stored up though. Could maybe push out another tank. Okay, yeah, he's taking engine damage. Maybe hitting another one of those teller mines. Oh, oh my. Sweeper was there, but might be getting out of range. Could back over it right as it goes invisible again. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> that was lucky. Doesn't look like that really did anything, that Katusha barrage. And uh, at the moment, the spotting scopes vehicles for Zarko making it very hard for Here Comes the Blob to do anything. Just so much line of sight. See everything coming so easily. Making it very, very hard for Here Comes the Blob. He's back up to full strength, so is the Panzer IV. We've got a howitzer in the build for Zarko also. Okay, it looks like the allies converging on the center a bit more. Oh, Stormtroopers coming in, pressuring away the anti-tank gun down there. And we are getting chased down by the SU-85. 222 takes a big hit. Still alive. Ready 5 not on focus sight mode, so he doesn't see the Bumbius sitting right there. Might switch over to the bunker though. Be good to clear that off. Pack is there, and how is the pack shooting through there? Looks like this has been flattened a bit. Opening up that angle. Might slow to dodge away with the SU 85, takes a lot of damage. T 34 is going to be next. The Howie coming down, looks like it's targeting the heavy mortar area. Before working nicely down the bottom. So far the ace hasn't had a huge impact on the match. A lot of misses. Up for repairs quite frequently. We have the vehicle crew repairs on that remember so. There we are, you're activating it now. Don't have a huge amount of mu things to spend munitions on in this commander so you might as well spam that. Double anti tank guns for Zarko. Very low on health. One of them back at base healing up at the moment. The Just to take it easy until that completes. Oh boy, flak pans are popping the smoke. No attack round though from the Zis. Okay, it takes quite a bit of damage from that Panzer IV on the rear armor. Shrek's here, but a crush action from the T-34. I think I'll be sticking around trying to push them into that mine there. Instead, they do get away alive. Oh, Pack got decrewed up here in the north. That's really big. This thing was shutting down the SU-85. He's trying to kill it now. SU-85 missed his first shot. Eyes going to jump back on top of it here. T-34 coming in and decrews it just as quickly. Very greedy for Zarko trying to set it up again to fire on the SU-85. He's punished for that greed. T-34 takes a walloping hit from that Brumbeer though. Activating the anti-tank overwatch. Too close with the T-34 to go for the Rambo and uh, takes a main gun crit. Clumsy stuff there for Here Comes the Blob. Very, very poor use of the T-34. We'll be able to clear off this bunker though, finally. There's a four coming up to the north for Ed. Maybe looking to polish off that low health T-34. It's far enough away. And then tank Overwatch is still running. So he blitzes away to safety. Well, maybe looking for the Faust to finish the job, but doesn't quite get there in time. This is going to be 
be the end of the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. No. 234 misses. 2-2 two, two does get a bit of extra health at this high level of veterancy. So it doesn't die to just two anti-tank gun shots like it usually does at bit zero. Okay, it's that Commissar Fair Propaganda coming in in the center again. Got the Zist there. I'm running away though for the moment. The lights are getting quite long VPs, down by around 80 now. Here's the Kachusha, pretty well targeted. Oh, this is Rubberlux Kachusha. I didn't even see it, but here come the Blob. Who lost his Kachusha at some stage. It looks like a Kachusha wreck to me. Maybe that's a truck, though. Same kind of wheels as a Kachusha. That, that, maybe that's a Kachusha wreck. Arena in appearance. Bounce. Triple T-34 is now for here comes the blob. Oh. T-34. Head not chasing with the ace. But it doesn't matter. Connects at max range. See a return kill from the Zis perhaps. Might be having a sight blocked. No. Zis just missing that shot I think. Unfortunate. Connection there from the heavy mortar. Going for some attack bounce there perhaps. Hoping to scatter into the T-34s. Triple T-34s though. Should be pretty easy to overwhelm Zarko in the north. He's going for a reboot on the pack now though. He's really advancing down the bottom. Looks like Rubber Luck kind of rotating more towards the center and north. Ace in spearhead mode now, boosting up its sight. Okay, the eight. I'm looking to clear off the bunker here, I think. I'm not entirely sure. It's a good chunk of damage though. Let's take Overwatch dropped in the center now. There's a four blitzing in, going for the Katusha kill. It's a mine though. And the Zis mops it up. Katusha Raj hoping to catch the packs, but they've already pushed forwards. Off the SU-85 now. Looks like that's going to survive though. Pack in the north, T-34. D crew on the machine gun. Carnage at the moment. Ed losing one of his packs as well. The propaganda working nicely from the Commissar. And uh, yeah, Ed staying out of the fight with the Ace. Didn't get too badly hurt, but that anti-tank Overwatch really zoning out. Any assistance from the Ace. Ooh, T-34 goes down the north to Shrek. Pack combo have much infantry here to hold off the Panzer Grandiers. And another set of Shreks now. It's going to make it a lot harder for here comes the Blob. Just really would like to see some upgrades on those conscripts though. So much worse without them. coming in for the KV-8, rear arm exposed. Double anti tank guns back at base, healing for rubber luck at the moment, so it doesn't have any defenses to Ed's armor push. T-34 goes down meanwhile, and uh, this S-35 could be next. Shrek and Pack advancing, one Shrek connecting. Oh, the Pack missing though, S-35, gonna get away, lucky break. Oh, this is going to be the end of the flak panzer. Oh, miss. And no attack ground. That's something Rubber Luck really needs to work on. Don't know if I've seen him go for any attack ground so far. 
territory is falling into enemy hands. How to blast him down. Up to V2, only five kills. Must have been doing quite a lot of vehicle damage. Be that high in vet. Such a low number of kills. Like a buster clearing off the heavy mortar finally. Pack in the north. T-34 getting caught against the trees here. 2 to 2 with the spotting scopes. Oh, whoa. Oh. Lucky break there for here comes the blob. Backing towards the howitzer though. It would be a catastrophe if that had connected. Zarko calling GG. Bad man of GG. Not very long VPs triple cap running. Just taking some big damage. I just desperately need these VPs. The tools have been there for here comes the blob. Still has plenty of manpower in reserve as well. Just getting overwhelmed at the moment it seems. Tied off that anti tank grenade. A touch too early. No engine damage on the boom beer. For now, for Ed going after the double anti tank guns, really good connection. One of them decreased. Back Panzer did go down though. T 34 coming in from the side on the pack. There are no Shreks up here, but nearby. It's ready five though going down. Let's take Overwatch drops. T 34 goes in for a ram. Boom, be in some trouble. We've got the Shreks up here. That pack just refuses to die. Oh, a double anti tank overwatch, in fact. Hammering down, there goes the Brumbeer with the damaged engine. Didn't stand a chance. Katusha hoping to clear off the pack. Doesn't quite manage to do so. T34 coming in. Some crush action. Pretty good crush there. Trying to avoid getting Fauster, though. Getting away as quickly as it arrived. KV8. Making a bit of a play. Don't want to tank guns, where are they? Clock has stopped at the moment, 31 points for the allies. But they are quite far behind in army size. They can decrew that pack, that'd be so huge, but Two models hanging in there, just engine damage on the ace though. Got the pyos and the emergency repairs, so that'll be back up very quickly. MG covering the bottom nicely though for rubber luck, so no point drain and conscripts jam the capture. A lot of damage from the KV-8. So like it went for a rebuild on the flat pans, it's an unusual choice. Given there are no uh, planes this game for the allies. Close Werfer, but doesn't quite find the mark. Chusha coming to a very forced position close to that howitzer, so he's going to have to be careful. Very easily go down here. Put some uh, damage onto the pack. And gets the decor on the pack, that's pretty nice. Damage Doing a little bit here against the AT gun. Oh, another has a four for Ed. That's pretty much his pop cap rounded out now. Triple cap against the Axis for a while. And the repair is just continuous for here comes the blob. Gonna go for another Kachusha now. Given up on the SU-85. Comes the uh, rebuilt Brumbeer though for Zarko. Nexus finally relieved some of the VP pressure decapping in the north.
Okay, engine damage on one of the Panzer IVs. It's swarming in, looking for the kill on this anti-tank gun, but one through the center, connecting. Panzer IV's gonna go down. No, where's that this going? Re retreating to the north, away from the action. Tank Overwatch dropped down the bottom. Flak Panzer should be able to drive out of this pretty cleanly, though. And there's this over here, Decrew. Could get destroyed. Run before the Werfer rockets hit. Enemy are a very low after this. Going for the Kachusha onto the point, trying to jam the capture. Ally so low on points. We are guarding the north. Now we blasting up there as well. Now he's making a play through the center. There's one of the flak panzers. There's something, but allies just have no infantry on the capture circles at the moment. T-34 going in for a big old flank, maybe hoping to catch a whiff or something, but ultimately not enough. GG, Axis take this one. I think uh, ultimately, here comes the blob. He had the tools, he had everything he needed to win that engagement, but there was a time where there was like one Shrek and the broom bear, the pack was destroyed, and here comes the blob, didn't really do enough with his tanks, while Zarko had almost no anti-tank, and ultimately that came back to bite him later on. Never managed to kill this 222 as well with the spotting scope, such a huge thorn in the Allies' side, that one. It's real hard to do any aggressive maneuvers when your opponent can constantly see them coming. But yeah, here comes the blob as well. There's no rule against getting a third combat engineer for repairs. I think that might have helped him out this game. Because uh, it seemed like he was just constantly had two or three tanks back here appearing. And you know, that's a fine option. You're taking some Shrek damage from the Panzer Grenadiers, bleeding them with manpower, repairing up for free. It's a good trade for you overall, as long as you don't spend too much time off the map with your tank appearing up after that. Overall, not the best use of the anti-tank overwatch from uh, both players this game, especially here comes the blob though. You know, he made that big play in the north with the T-34 chasing in after, I think it was the Brumbeer, but too close to it to activate the ram. Didn't manage to stun it in the zone, so he took any damage from that activation. And overall, maybe a little bit too much float from uh, most of the players in this game at various stages, but nothing too horrific overall. But GG, Axis end up taking this one. Anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye. And good luck.